Welcome back to Daytime Ottawa here on Rogers TV. I, I find it hard to believe. I I'm sure many of you watching today probably find it hard to believe as well. But Glebe Collegiate is celebrating 100 years. They have their 100th reunion weekend coming up and here to tell us more about it. Uh, probably one of the busiest people in the entire city these days. Patty Bowen joining me. How are you, Patty? Oh, I'm, I'm hanging in. <laughs> <laughs> nice to hear. Now, before we get to the details, Patty, I'd just like to talk a little bit about, about your experience and, and, you know, what made the Glebe so, so unique and, and special, you know, like, what are some of your best memories? The thing about going to Glebe is that it was like being in a very small village. The Glebe neighborhood itself is like a village. And then going to Glebe itself, I, I went to Glebe with kids that I had gone to much more to kindergarten, then Hopewell, and then Glebe. So people that I had known since I was five years old. And so it was kind of safe and comfortable. And bear in mind, I'm class of 75, so I started Glebe in 1970. Ottawa had 250,000 people. Yeah. It was a small city. So there was something sort of magical about knowing everybody, knowing all the teachers' names, whether they were your teacher or not, knowing so many other kids around the school. And I just, I had a magical uh, high school experience. Yeah, I know. was even a cheerleader. Oh, and, really? And, you know, being a cheerleader in those days, our big move was cartwheels. Like, <laughs> it wasn't like cheerleading you see yeah. now. So everything was sort of simpler and kind of kinder. Well, you know, my dad's an alumni, and, uh, you know, the way you're describing it is the exact same way my dad described it, glowing, growing up in the Glebe and going, and he just, he described it just like that. It was magical. It was special. Everyone knew each other. It was quite the community. Well, let's talk about what you've organized. You, you've been working with a great team. I know you've got some wonderful volunteers that have signed up as well. What have you got planned for the reunion weekend? So it all starts with an opening gala. Um, on the Friday night, and we have about 50 musicians all across the ages. Glebe is a school that has produced some remarkable musicians, including uh, the classical pianist Angela Hewitt and uh, the opera star Gerald Finley, as well as rock star Alanis Morissette, yeah. and lots and lots of others who've played in local bands in Ottawa. So... Um, it's a big musical evening and there will be some, you know, greetings from afar from some celebrities and from some political folks. So that's a great way to kick things off. And then on Saturday morning, there's a parade through the Glebe, starting out at Lansdowne, kicking off at 10 o'clock, led by the Governor General's foot band. Wow. And we'll be making our presence known all across Bank Street and up Glebe Avenue. Um, and we finish up at the back campus for a barbecue that's being put on by the current student council. Um, in the afternoon on Saturday and earlier on Friday also and Sunday morning, people can visit what we call the Decade Rooms, yeah. which is where there are displays and pictures and greeters uh, per decade of the school's history. And that's a great place to go and see if you can find yourself in your, in your old yearbook or see if there are pictures on the wall of people that you remember. It's a, it's a great walk down memory lane. Yeah, Patty, what, uh, what, what, Saturday what, 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 night. Sorry, Patty, I just want to stop you for a minute. What, what went into that? Sure. I mean, you obviously reached out to, to people that you knew. Uh, and, and I guess once people started finding out, I mean, were you overwhelmed with the amount of photos and stories and things like that? Yeah, it's 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 quite remarkable. And the the school has an archive, so a lot of stuff is collected over time and right. kept there. And then we we uh, you know root out the archives when it's time to put these rooms together. Um, but putting a call out, we heard from a number of people, including three women who were in the first year of Glebe in 1922. Wow. Um, it, it, it was amazing. No, no, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm getting that wrong. They, their mothers, three women were able to bring us memories from their mothers right. who were in the first right. class in 1920, uh, 1922. Amazing. So that was pretty amazing. And there are a number of alumni who've been in touch who are currently in their 80s and 90s. Um, there's a woman actually that I know who went to Glebe during World War II and talks about them knitting socks and uh, creating boxes for the Red Cross to go to the soldiers in World War II when she was in high school. So it's amazing. Students, of course, you know, at Glebe in a hundred years 
have been part of history and history has happened around them, like wars, like political upheaval, like development of the city. So it's been of an course. interesting time. Yeah, absolutely. So you've yeah. got a dance. So back to the schedule. Yeah, I was going to say, um, you've got a dance. Saturday got, night. Uh, volleyball and football tournament. That's Sunday, but Saturday night before that, though, Derek, we can't miss mentioning the dance, the classic right. school dance in the gym. The only thing that's different now is there's a bar, which there right. certainly wasn't when I went to school <laughs> dances. <laughs> um, so the dance will be great fun. And then, as you said, Sunday morning, there's um, an event called Glee Plays, and more than 150 alumni have signed up to play in a couple of tourneys. So tag football and volleyball, and then the rest of us uh, not-so-brave souls will stand and watch and cheer. I love it. And then it finishes with a closing ceremony. Very nice. You're going to pull out a cartwheel from your cheerleading days? I think I might land right on my head, uh, <laughs> but I can certainly go, woo -hoo! Nice. I love it. Patty, uh, how, do people, how do people register for the weekend? leave 100ca Couldn't be simpler. Simplest thing to do. Um, Patty, congratulations to your, you and your, your entire team. I know you've worked so hard, and I know you've got some students that are going to be working with you as well. So congrats to all of you. I'll remind everybody again, visit the website, register. It is going to be an amazing celebration of Glebe Collegiate. We'll be back with more right after this.